our family likes Mexican food, so it was kind of a comfort food. Weeks after its summertime grand opening, Cinco de Mayo quickly found a following. But the popularity of Cross Plains' newest restaurant started unraveling in early August. The food wasn't quite ready, so I sat down at the bar. August 3rd was not the first time Jane had ordered takeout from Cinco de Mayo. We changed her name to protect her identity. It would be Jane's last. And I was still at the bar waiting, and then they offered me a, a margarita. So I'm thinking, well, I'll just I'll drink this for about five minutes, grab my food. Shortly after sipping the drink, Jane says she felt cloudy in the head. And they said that they had a bed back there if I wanted to lay down there for a little while till I felt better and get up and go, I could do that. And I felt, I, I'm like, you have a bed here? He's like, yeah, 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 let me show you. Jane says that's when workers led her to the back of the restaurant into a storage closet. And then immediately, right away, guy number one uh, raped me. And I don't know how long I was with him. Um, I do remember being jostled around. A search warrant references five restaurant employees engaging in various sex acts with Jane. You know, trying to kiss me, trying to grope me, trying to get me to grope him. I asked each one of them to help me and get me out of there, and they all said no. They did not help. Jane reported the incident three days later. Shortly after, Cinco de Mayo's owner shared his thoughts with News 3. It's a safe restaurant. We're going to, you know, all the employees that we're working, we have to get new staff and everything, new, new people, you know, so people, you know, know what's, you know, they're not, you know, uh, scared to come in for what happened, you know. By September, Cinco de Mayo had closed its doors, and Cross Plains police recommended first-degree sexual assault charges for 23-year-old Alejandro Gonzalez Carmona, 46 days after the alleged attack. It's at this point Jane had hoped to find justice, but nearly three months after the August assault, police still cannot find Gonzalez Carmona. I think they could have worked a little faster to try to get some of these people, I don't know why they waited so long. We asked the Cross Plains Police Department why. Chief Jansen, this is Andy Choi with News 3. Chief Tom Jansen declined our request for an on-camera interview, but says his department's recommendation to charge should not imply guilt before justice takes its course. We can't just run around and follow people and keep track of them because we want to know where they are. Uh, everybody has the freedom to, unless they are charged or incarcerated, to, you know, the liberty to roam around free. Their freedom to move, because they are presumed innocent, is still there. The decision to file charges now rests on Dane County District Attorney Ishmael Ozan. Obviously, with the amount of cases that are coming in, the amount of cases that we currently have, yes, it will take us longer to, to get through cases. And this isn't the only Dane County case in legal limbo. Currently, we have about 3,000 cases in warrant status. That means charges have been filed and a warrant has been issued for the defendant. Out of those 3,000 cases, Ozan says the whereabouts of some defendants are known. But for others, their day in court will take more time. And I always talk to victims, and when I'm talking to them about the speed of, of the system as a whole, I, I let them know that it's not going to be fast enough for them. We responded to the report. We feel we responded in a timely manner and appropriately. And right now, um, it is just a matter of locating individuals. Now it's up to the DA to do this. And I just, it, it could be another month. It could be another two months. And then these people move further away. More about the motivations for speaking out. Jane tells me she hopes her story prompts other victims to come forward. She's convinced there may have been more who had fallen prey to what she describes as a, quote, premeditated, pre-choreographed attack. Again, we should note, while Cross Plains police have recommended charges against Gonzalez Carmona, the 23-year-old has yet to be formally charged. So is there a timeline then as to when we can expect charges for it? The short answer, Sarah, is no. Both the DA and the Cross Plains Police Department tell us there are details they cannot share due to the active nature of this investigation. Meanwhile, the victim says she's considering legal action against the owners of the now-closed restaurant. That's a tough one. All right. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Andy.